Welcome to Landsberg Golf Club in Palm Harbor. Hello, Hang Time Golfers. Welcome to the channel. My name is Al, and today we are at Landsberg Golf Club in Palm Harbor, Florida. The course was established in 1975. It's been around quite a while. There are 16 holes that are water holes on this course. It's not very easy. From the tips, it's playing 6,800 yards and change. I'll be playing from the blue tees, which is 6,300 yards and change, with a slope rating of 133, and a course rating of 70.9. We ask you to please like and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you on the first tee. All right, welcome back, Hang Time Golfers. We're on the 10th tee. It's a par four straightaway, playing 345 from the Blues today. It's car path only today. All right, I'm on the right side by the car path. Let's check it out. All right, I have 135 to the hole. I'm playing a pitching wedge straight away. All right, I flighted it down because of the wind here. Let's check it out. I'm on the green in the back. All right, I have an 18 footer for birdie. All right, that is a par four on to 11. All right, the 11th hole is a par three, playing 170 today. There's water to the left, and bunkers in the front, and the bunker on the right side. I'm playing a seven iron. All right, that ball is on the right side, about pin high. Let's check it out. All right, I'm right over here in the, in the side of the green. I have a chip. The greens are fast, so I gotta, even though it's wet here and it's car path only, uh, I'm using a sand wedge. I like to save my par. Here we go. All right, I have about a less than two feet for par. All right, that's a par three, on to 12. All right, the 12th hole is a par four, playing 335, it's straight away. The fairway is super wet, and it's car path only, but uh, straight away onto the right side, where the guy's cutting the lawn, if you can see it in the video, um, is the upper place to be. It was a nice little draw on the left left center of the fairway. It might be plugged. I have to see. We're playing left clean of place today, obviously. Let's check it out. All right, I have 130 to the pin. I'm in the fairway over here. It's very squishy. There's a lot of, a lot of uh, standing water underneath the ball. Using a pitching wedge. All right, it looks like I'm pin high on the green. A lot of water here, let's check it out. All right, that pitching wedge was a great shot for me. Um, I have a little over three feet. It's downhill, I'm gonna break to the uh, right for a birdie. Let's check it out. That is a par, a missed opportunity. On to uh, 13. All right, the 13th is a par five playing 477. It's a lazy dog leg right. Um, obviously all these holes today, except for the par threes are playing really long. 
it's left clean in place. The ball does get embedded. It does plug off the tee. Super soft. Anyway, I'm gonna try to fade it on the uh, on the right side, but keep it in a fairway. All right, that was a nice little draw on the left side of the, left side of the fairway, left center of the fairway. It's out there quite a ways, but it's all carry. Let's check it out. All right, I'm in the center of the fairway. The fairways are super wet. Um, I'm hitting a five iron. I have two tents in the pin. I'm not gonna try and carry that bunker, that massive bunker in the center of the green in front of it. I'm gonna try to go to the left side. And if I get on, fine. If I don't, I'll just chip up. Here we go. Stay short. All right, I'm just short of the bunker. All right, third shot, chip up, get it close. Sandwich. All right, it ran a little too far. Probably have about 12 foot for, for, uh, for birdie. Let's check it out. I have a 15 foot for birdie. It's downhill, it's gonna break to the left. That is a par five, on to 14. All right, the 14th is a par four playing straight away. It's uh, actually bends to the left a little bit, playing 327. Let's check it out. All right, that ball's on the right side. Let's check it out. All right, I pushed that tee shot long right and hit this tree behind me over here, and it landed over here. Uh, I'm 142 from the pin. It's a long, long shot from the right side. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna elect to go above those uh, trees there. I have an opening. At 142, I'd usually hit a nice easy nine iron, but um, I need to get up above the, below this branch and above those two branches there. So I'm gonna elect to hit a pitching wedge. I might be short or I might be just on. So I'm gonna give it a shot with a pitching wedge. Even if I get it close, I should be able to get up and down for par, hopefully. As I suspected, I cleared the branches, but I'm a little short on the right side. All right, I'm gonna slope down here, the up slope. I have to chip up. Sandwich. This is a par, it's a 10 footer. That is a bogey five onto 15. All right, this is a par four today, the 15th hole, playing 330 straight away. Now I play it's on the right side of the fairway. They hit, hit it low in the club face. Let's check it out. All right, I caught the fairway on the right side. Uh, I have 80 yards to the pin. I'm playing a sandwich. I'm just short, let's check it out. There's a lot of water under the ball. All right, I'm short by about three yards. Let's chip it up with a sand wedge. Try to stay par. All right, I have a three footer for par. Let's check it out. All right, par putt coming up.
All right, that is a par four on to 16. All right, 16 is a par five playing straight away at 570. It's a long par five. So here we go. All right, I had a little fade on it. It's on the, on the left side of the fairway there. I should have a good shot for my second shot. Let's check it out. All right, for my second shot on the par five, I'm hitting a three wood straight down the fairway. Let's check it out. All right, I have a little draw on it. It's on the left side of the fairway, just short of the, short of the uh, golf cart path. Let's check it out. All right, I have 126. For the pin, I'm playing a full gap wedge for my third shot. All right, I have a 22 foot putt for birdie here. I'm just off the green. Um, it's downhill a little bit. And I think it's gonna break to the right. Let's check it out. Alright, that is a par 5, on to 17. Alright, 17 is a par 3, playing 170 today, over the water, 7 iron. Alright, that ball had a little drawing, it's on the left side, just short of the bunker, just short of the green, and just short of the bunker on the left side. Let's check it out. Alright, second shot, I have a chip here, sandwich. That worked out nice. I've had a foot, foot and a half a par. Let's check it out. Okay, in the 17th hole, I have about a two footer for par. That is a par three, on to 18 and final hole. All right, the 18th and final hole is a dog leg left, par four, 370 yards. That way, that bunker way out on the right, I don't want to be, I want to be in the middle of the fairway. If I try to cut it, there's water, which you can't see from this camera angle, that goes about 200 yards out all the way, almost to the green on the left side. So let's check it out. All right, I'm on the left side of the fairway, I should play. All right, I'm just in the rough over here, but I have a short 94 yards for the pin with the sand wedge. They actually had us play off the back nine first. So this is actually hole number nine, even though I'm on the 18th hole. I start to play the front nine. So here we go. All right, I'm just short, right? We're sitting up high in the, in the rough. All right, I have the 16th footer, 16th footer for birdie. Let's check it out. That is a par four. The back nine, shot of 37, one over, one over 37. I have to play the front nine yet. Let's check it out. <laughs> 